Let's look at part four of uh, American Hunks. This is such a fun book, it really is. You can still buy it, it's not that expensive. It's just a fun overview, I love the pictures. Really good stuff in it, and I love the whole history behind the beefcake physique um, phenomena that really, I guess, yeah, so it, it evolved. So this is Superman at War, 1941 and 1949, uh, starting with World War II. So we have the Navy, we have these very, according to the torso, the muscular um, hunk uh, picture, picture of health. This is called We Make the Navy from 1942. Men Make the Navy, no, yeah, Men Make the Navy. And then we get to some real physique models. Okay, so here, uh, Constantine Spartan, taken in 1949. This is Alan Stefan, or Stephen Stefan, and Bob Goodrich. This is Alan Stefan, uh, by Ernie Forbes. And this is uh, this one who is completely naked, uh, they t often take two sets of photos, and that's why I marked this. One, where the athletes were chastely clad in trunks or posing straps, and another, if the model was willing, in full nudity. These nude pictures could be sold to clients who could be trusted to keep the photographs out of the public eye. This is apparently why a major bodybuilder like Alan Stephan was willing to pose in Adam's costume. So, um, this is the beginning of the sort of the duality of I'll take your picture, but let's take some more pictures and see how it goes. Um, so you can see there's an example there. One of the examples I've talked about in another video was Glenn Bishop and how he was kind of exploited when he was younger. He would take these bodybuilding photos and then there would be other photos that would circulate to friends and, and, and all. I guess the temptation was there to kind of exploit someone who was willing to be completely naked. Here's the guy on the cover. Frank Leight, Leight, L-E-I-G-H-C, Late. Same guy. This is 1942. This is before a V-shaped torso became de rigueur. De rigueur. And I guess that's what sort of this is based on. This is Frank Late again, and uh, Lon Hannigan with Raul uh, Pacheco, 1942. This one's a very successful photo, I think. I love the pattern of the floor, pose is nice, uh, musculature, the foot. This one's good too, I don't like the, the way that it's not quite centered, face. This is, uh, oh, we were talking about Latinos, Lon Hannigan uh, and Raul Pacheco, or Pachi, yeah, Pacheco, Pacheco, yeah. Uh, Abe Goldberg, oh, what are we looking at? Oh, it's talking, no, what is it talking about? Oh, okay. And then on the other side, Abe Goldberg. Uh, and then, um, then it's some illustrations here. This is for Canon towels. Army Day, crocodiles, keep out. Look at that butt exposure, naked. He weighs it eight tons on our scales. Pennsylvania Railroad. Here we have uh, soldiers, just random soldiers. Um, 1942. Um, why the man was photographed naked except for his socks, shoes, and pith helmet is anybody's guess. Hmm. Your physique, sex, health, strength, vitamin chart, others. Kimon Voyages? His name is Kimon Voyages. That's his name. That's crazy. Uh, and this is an all-male environment. Nudity and privacy also became less important. Recruitment stood around 1942 for the Army, here in the U.S. Cake on display. 
Looking uh, the ideal in 40s, the ideal male physique was smooth, fit, slender, not bulky or muscular. And there's Errol Flynn. This is Errol Flynn as well. Anonymous World War II. Paul Campisi. And this is someone named Dick. This is a uh, unknown uh, model by Earl Forbes. This one's I like this. This one's very nice. This one I don't like the posture. This one's crazy. This is 1944 Mr. America, uh, a controversial decision that Steve Stanko, the victory despite all walls of protest. Uh, but uh, let's see. Oh, this is Morris Moritz. Uh, O'Brien Powell Studio. Look at that. That is freaking remarkable. Wow. Uh, extraordinary close-up of abdominal muscles. Forbes used a simple brownie camera to take photos. And with the primitive apparatus, he achieved great things. A brownie camera is so basic. The lens is basically plastic. This is Joseph Thaler. This is Jimmy Jackson. This is Ludwig Schusterick by Al Urban. Jimmy Venice of Brooklyn. He went to a photo studio, took off all his clothes, and posed for this picture. His shiny black hair stands out dramatically against the gleam of the backdrop. He just took it all off. This is Terry Robinson. He competed in Mr. America. Robert Gebhardt. Leo DeCara. Let's see. Alex Mintz here. Mel Cohen. The insult that made a man out of Mac. This is uh, Lon Hannigan's uh, Stanley Ballas of Brooklyn. Uh, Lon Hannigan of, uh, this is Jen. Dubuque. There. Walter Brandt took this with unknown uh, model. This is John Fritsch. Another ad, the gun that came out of an oil well. Tide Water Associated. Vidal Motor Oil. This is Guy Gibby. Um, 1945, uh, his name is Lila's, hand tinted. Carl Bushnell here, 1944. Sort of glamorous. Hal Stevens, studio. Uh, Anonymous athlete. Shores Lake, Michigan. This is uh, Jim Sobolski, 1945. Um, a large posing pouch was painted over the model's naughty bits, and it was easily removed. Hmm. Cover of muscle power. I'm getting a very Atlas Shrugged thing here. That's the one book. Did I read Atlas Shrugged? I read The Fountainhead. I think if you read one, you might as well have read both, right? Uh, Superman Strongman. The Perfect Human. Muscle Power. This is uh, AMG. Finally, we're getting AMG. 
uh, Bob Miser. Extremely rare nude photograph taken by Fred Covert. Oh, hold on. Um. <gasps> oh. This is Bob Miser posing naked. I've never seen, I, I knew of it, but I don't think I'd seen it before. So if you wanted to look like, wanted to know what Bob Miser looked like naked, there you go. In fact, there's Bob naked. I knew he had, he had some interest in posing. Um, he was posed for Covert around 1945. It says it's extremely rare. Uh, Fred Covert was one of the best enigmatic uh, physique ph photographers. This one is unidentified. This is, um, Covert insisted on taking nude photos. Later, he'd ink an opposing uh, strap to satisfy public morality. Transient military men, aspiring actors down in their luck. That's right, Covert sort of he, uh, took Bob under his wing and kind of taught him a little bit about what to do. That's right, I had to jog my memory. Coca-Cola, you work better refreshed. Master padlock. People lax. Businessmen's health clubs. Everybody smoked. <laughs> Miss America. Standard. Golden Gloves movie. Robert Page. Oh, lovely. Richard Denning. Mm, All American Romance, 1944. This is about house shingles. Industrial belts. And advertising. Ever ready flashlight bulbs? Look at the strong man. How to make a muscle. National dairy. This one is John Payne, actor, physique culture, beauty and health. This is the Black Swan, Tyrone Power and the Black Swan, Tyrone Power again. Escaping his military service, uh, he was determined not to be powdered a, not to be branded a pink powder puff. So instead of escaping his military service and getting a cushy job on the home front, he joined the Marine Corps in 1942, trained as a flyer. Hmm. Photo play by Alan Ladd, the, the woman I love. And then... It's also Alan Ladd? Yeah, Alan Ladd. I guess kind of the first, like, well, Rudolf Valentino was the sort of the first heartthrob. Alan Ladd was easily... Get it up. Shazam. Burt Lancaster. La Frisa Brute. Brute Force. Picnic. Uh, again. William Holden. Kim Novak. Rosalind Russell. And that's the end of this chapter. So the next begins with 1950. So we have some lay of the groundwork. We even saw Bob Miser naked. Good lord. Um, who'd have thought? Anyway, that's the end of this chapter, so thanks for watching.